Hi, my name is John Falcon, and I'm a registered psychologist. And I want to invite you to a really exciting professional development workshop with the Institute of Emotion Focused Therapy. Now, I'm really excited about this because I think the topics that I'm going to be offering are topics that are quite current in today's uh, world and that clinicians who would like to upskill themselves and do some uh, work on themselves as well uh, would be beneficial um, to join in on uh, this online experience. Now, let me just explain um, what we're going to be offering. This is a five week professional development course. It is online and it is both asynchronous, uh, which is um, there'll be a lecture with PowerPoints and on a video, and that would be uh, once a week. And then there will be a synchronous session, which is with me uh, doing some experiential looking and teasing out some of the high points of some of the topics that I'll be presenting, answering your questions, and um, doing some practice uh, about these particular areas that, uh, again, uh, might be useful for your toolbox. Now, each week you'll have a reading that'll um, help to support the particular topic that I'm presenting, as well as you might use those readings as resources for um, the assignment that we'll be offering you. Now, as well, um, there'll be a reflection each week that you can um, look at, uh, answer some questions, and really key in some of your learnings in a way that really helps you to ground some of those learnings that you've had. Now, I mentioned assessment. There is an assessment, it's an essay. It'll be about 500 uh, words. And in that assessment, we'll be looking at some of the concepts, theories, um, uh, models that I'll be presenting, and you'll do an essay around that. Uh, we'll talk more about that when we meet in our tutorials, which will be once a week as well. They'll be for an hour. So the lecture is an hour, the tutorial is an hour, and then you work on your assessment uh, over those five weeks. And at the very end of the, the five weeks, you can turn in that assessment. It'll be graded uh, either satisfactory or unsatisfactory. Um, really what I wanna do is, is see what you've learned and give you some support and some feedback on your learning. So what's the topic? This first uh, professional development workshop is around trauma bonds. Now trauma bonds are unique in that they, they're strong emotions um, that happened between infants and caregivers as a result of trauma. Now that can be trauma with the caregiver or the environment itself. As a result of that trauma that impacts that child, um, many, uh, many areas in that child's life are then impacted around emotions, around relationships, and around genetics. So I'm taking this to the point of um, neuroscience, meaning that we're going to be looking at um, what happens to infants and children who are traumatized. What type of trauma are they experiencing or witnessing? And then what is the result of that, the impact of that in terms of their development emotionally, intellectually, uh, behaviorally, and spiritually? So for the first week, we're going to define trauma bonds. We're going to look at childhood tra trauma and uh, the impact of that from infants to adult. We'll look at the neuroscience in terms of the implications of what's going on in the brain. What are the genetics uh, of uh, the impact of trauma on children? And then we're gonna look at um, clinical practical applications and we'll uh, experience those in the tutorial uh, once a week. And the second week, we're gonna look at attachment bonding. We're gonna look at attachment in terms of, again, neuroscience. Um, what are the attachment styles that um, result as a, a child is growing up in their development? Um, we're going to look at bonding and bonding analysis. Uh, what happens to children and their bond to their caregiver? And how does that play out later in their adult life? And we'll look at that in terms of, again, 
uh, practical applications. Now, in week three, we'll look at affect regulation. So here's another area that is um, impacted, is that is emotions. So we'll look at emotional intelligence and the de development of emotional intelligence as a result. Of we'll be looking at all that. Then we'll be working with affect regulation. How do we then assist clients to regulate their affect, to regulate their uh, emotions? And we'll be looking at that as well. And in week four, we'll, um, we'll look at interpersonal uh, or relational um, uh, connections. How does that then, again, play out in their relationships and their social situations? And so we'll look at that again from relational development, and then how does that impact clients, and how would you work with that in a therapy or counseling environment for clinicians? And the last week, week five, we'll look at co-regulation and attuned therapy as well as uh, self-care. So co-regulation is that relationship between you, the clinician, and your client. What's going on in that relationship in terms of uh, grounding and presence? And we'll look at the attuned therapist in terms of how do you, as a, a therapist or a counselor or as a nurse, um, attune yourself to be present in the moment to be able to deliver to your client what they need. Um, as opposed to what we need to give them. Uh, so we'll look at that in terms of attunement. And then we'll look at self-care in terms of looking at how to develop a wellness plan, how to take care of yourself when you are uh, working with clients who have been traumatized, who are still having memories around trauma, and then how to take care of yourself uh, in that situation. What strategies might you use? So that's the five weeks. Now again, um, topics each week. And then eventually what I'd like to do is take key elements of those topics and develop um, more uh, personal development workshops. That is, we would look at trauma in itself. We would look at couples therapy. Uh, we look at addictions. Um, we would also look at domestic violence. So there are more to come in terms of this is just the beginning of a series of workshops that, that, um, that we could be doing to, again, um, help build your toolkit, uh, enhance your own knowledge, and uh, give you some confidence when working with uh, clients who have experienced trauma. Um, it's, um, it's ingrained as you would in their brain, and they're attempting to self-regulate uh, in the environment under stressful events. So I hope that you will find this interesting, and I hope you'll join us um, in this first uh, professional development workshop with the uh, Institute of Emotion Focused Therapy. So thanks for your time, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks very much.